Hello McWarriors, how is it going and welcome to another episode of Rogue Tech, where we actually have to do some repairs today. In the last mission we actually got hit hard and this is what our repair bay looks like right now. However, we have some interesting missions here that we can still play without the full squad and I think that's what we're gonna be doing. Licking the wounds, getting some extra salvage and money online and I think there was also something like a duel. So let's go ahead and I would say the Mjolnir is gonna go all the way down. Get the Marauder online, the Avatar, the Hunchback, and I believe the Hot Boy, our good old friend, the Warhammer with Plasma. And these guys are gonna be the main squad for the next adventure. So let's go ahead. Wait, I think three days. Stop here. Holy crap, that could have gone sideways. Oh boy, I wanted to stop the, the timer and an event was coming up at the same time and I clicked. All right, I'm happy that we have no lasting consequences. All right, continue here. Man, this is always, always getting me. Uh, but anyway, let's go to the command center. There is a duel here, it's a solo, and we have a tiny bit of money that we can squeeze out of this here. It's one out of four salvage, so I hope that we get something good, something valuable that we can throw in our salvage bins. And um, we can, we're gonna bring the hunchback. I think this is our most capable mech that we have. All right. Maki, you ready? What's going on here? Oh yeah, there's Gaki still. Maki and Gaki. Uh, I would say we're gonna dive into this with our hatchet-wielding hunchback. Let's see what we can get done. There is also an argument uh, for bringing the Stormcrow back online. It is a very easy build that we could make happen. I'm just realizing we have an omni mech. Omnis are the fastest when it comes to quickly rebuilding them. Uh, I could get that thing up and running in a single day, and we have a 55 toner that can slug some, uh, or throw some slugs around. Maybe some energy, where, I don't know, anything. Anything that sits in the in the mech lab that we are not using currently. Just get something on the board, so that we have some firepower that we can use. That might not be the worst idea, and then we can possibly play another 3 scale mission with the stuff that we have. But like, let's see how the duel goes first, and then we go in and build a little bit. I hope this is kind of working. There's also a financial report coming around the corner, so let's take a look at that as well. And then later, um, there's also uh, a quick look at the mech bay, uh, at the uh, storage, because we have so much stuff lying around, there might be something of value that we can just scrap. Alright, Maki. Don't disappoint me. There's an enforcer, you can destroy it, okay? Easily. I see a lot of green out of my cockpit. Gotta reserve that. Enforcer is moving, not doing anything. Let's go! Gotta go fast! Yeah, sure. Let's drop chaff on him so he is not hitting us properly. Uh, also, Infernos. Eat up. It is my turn again and I could charge him. I feel cocky, let's go. We have a very good hit chance. My into this is certainly a knockdown. He got a lot of damage. He also got a pilot injury thanks to a headshot here. So that's two injuries now. Right? I think so. Wounds one though. Hmm, okay. Moving. My six? Completely missing. Yeah, I mean, he got just charged and knocked. So what's he gonna do? What a... S wait, wait, wait. Did they change that? We have a successful charge attack that actually preserves our evasion. Oh, is, is that new now? Is that a thing that happens now? Because I'm all, I'm all in. Let's go and charge more. That makes so much sense, man. Let's do it. Um, physical weapon, hatchet, attack. All right. So there goes the Enforcer, we're gonna take some quick money. And um, some extra salvage. This is, this is really good, guys. So that was like, what, five minutes? Not even five minutes, and we got the first mission done. Again, I love duels for that. You can just easily get some uh, quick resources from them. Anyway, just an Enforcer. I don't think that we're gonna get anything of value out of it, right? I think we destroyed the engine. We got 600k. That's nice. Um, yeah, this is all basic stuff here. 
Pharaoh. It's 150,000. 200,000. The enforcer part might be the biggest thing here. All right. I'm going to instantly sell that thing. But yeah, we got two parts of the Enforcer. Let's see what they have worth in total. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to play as the next mission because we now have to um, wait, I think, for two days minimum to get uh, Ariyamaki back out of his fatigue. I will not drop him on fatigue because he might get an injury after that. So he's going to he's gonna replenish. But we might be... Let's take a look. We might have enough time to uh, actually get him on the battlefield before the next financial report. Thanks for the repairs. Yes! There it is. Two days. We need a hot boy, though. Or do we? That's a two and a half skull. I think we can play it. I'd rather play the three and a half, actually. I want to play this. Somehow. I don't know how, but I want to play this. Do we have the firepower? Let's check it out. This might be a mistake, but... Let's see... So we will not get Hot Boy. We will have our... Melee mech though. So it's the Marauder, the Headshotter and the LRM Avatar, as well as the Crow if we play it smart. We need to build it in a way that we only take two days maximum. So what is he running here? What do we have even? We got some heavy Rock 5s, some Rock 5s, some Rock 10s, and a Rock 20. <laughs> yeah, sure. Improved heavy gals. Uh, we got the Hyper Assault 40. Okay. Flamer Plasma, PPCs. Radical Double Heat Sink Kit. I see a lot of X Pulse lasers. This might be it. How many can we put in the mech? Is it? Are we running eight X pulse medium lasers? Ah, uh, we have seven only. Ah, crap. And then cool the mech down like crazy? Ah, uh, no, we cannot cool him like that. Six is probably the biggest number that we can uh, put on the mech. But then what? What? What do we have then? We have a lot of good medium range damage. It's, it's not bad. This guy needs to get to the front line though. Is that a thing I want? I doubt it. We got 220 clan. We got some ADMs. I ATMs even. What could we do with I ATMs? I explosive, nice. Inferno, nice. EMP. I say we're gonna make this guy I an I ATM boat. Absolutely. See, the idea is that we are not in need of extra cooling. So I'm gonna keep two of these, I think. And I want to see how many IATMs we can slap on the mech. This is an IATM 3. It's a one and a half. This is three times it in terms of damage. But it's more than three times the weight. This is an ATM, by the way. But it's the same thing. Seven. Uh, God, I can't... No, yeah, it's fine. Uh, so the, the IATM 3s are the most efficient one when it comes to weight. I'm gonna put one of each here, and then probably the 12, and then we are probably done, right? I'm gonna keep them on the arm. Could we go all in with IATMs? We'd have three tons of ammo. That's not enough, is it? Not at all. Um, <laughs> I do like this idea, uh, this idea here in general. Uh, let me quickly see. Uh, we shoot what? Um, that's 15, that's 12, so 27 missiles. How much do we have on each bin? 27, 60 shots, so two, two alpha strikes basically per bin. Two, four, it's eight total? That's too much. The high explosive is good, the inferno is good. It doesn't kill. That's the problem. It does not kill. And that's how I would play it, probably. Artemis is taking a ton, so we can take that out. Huh? Oh, I mean, if we end the fight quickly, we don't worry about ammo. But would we? Would we end the fight quickly? 
I don't see it, man. I just don't see it. So we're gonna go with 12 on each side. I will probably drop the... Oh, God, this is a good probe, man. I want to keep that. But I also want to get some extra weapons on the mech, like energy weapons. We got ER smalls. We can put three of them in the mech. Cooling-wise, we are absolutely fine, correct? Yes, more than that. Maybe it's this. Maybe we shoot just 21 and actually get two X pulses in here. So we have some raw damage and we actually utilize the heat. Speaking of, this is exchanger double plus. So we have that set for us. And a remote missile sensor or a UAV. It's a pretty good UAV. I like it. Uh, having a sensor ping is probably not bad. So yeah, we are one turn over now. In terms of weight, what are we doing now? Um, so it's 21. We have three alpha strikes per bin now. And I'm aiming for 10, roughly. I could probably get away with 9. And then having these X pulses as well. Let's check it out, guys. I think the IATM high explosive ammo is actually quite good here. And then X pulse lasers for some pew pew damage as well. Alright, so rearranging everything. So we have like one day until everything is ready. God. This is not optimal. Another day. Stop here. Great. So. Let's go in and get some value here. I want to play this. Three and a half. I know. It's not a Milkron. I'll take two salvage plus 800,000. Playing against Steiner. Huh. <laughs> Fun. Fun times. All right. Oh, wait. Before we go, uh, there might be the case that Uthrid, son of Uthrid, has enough skills to go for Warlord now. And he has. Warlord giving us plus one accuracy, plus one clustering, but more importantly, another 10% cold shot multiplier. Pretty good. I'll take it. Let's go. Now we go for, like, guts and tactics. Hell yeah! Uh, the other guys? I don't know. Do I care? I should probably care. Uh, Eric, get gunnery. Thank you. Yeah, we are not going in with the, the best setup here. Um, what are you taking? You take tactics here. I want the highest initiative possible on you. Absolutely. And there's Eric, there's Fang. Uh, Fang is waiting for the 10. This is a good one. Yes. Great job, King Wolf. You're trained well. There's Rafer. Rafer definitely wants more piloting to get more mobility. We're gonna put him on a vehicle now again. And that is basically it. Alright, guys. I'm ready when you are. Next mission coming up. Uh, why am I not, not going for this here? Uh, because uh, this one here is a prospect of very good equipment. And we also always need to find the balance between gathering money and also getting stuff for our builds. But anyway, I'm pretty happy that we got Uthrid now up and running here. It was one of the last combo pieces. On top of that, the Avatar. Who was on the Avatar anyway? was King Wolf as a bandit, correct? Uh, you were on the Warhammer, I see. The hammer is not there currently. Was it Fang? Funny thing, he has some Stormcrow affinity. Huh. Alright. I, I need to see who was on the Avatar, actually. Wolverine Archer. Archer is not here currently. Apex? Crusader Maxime Balkin? It doesn't show! Oh no. Oh no, I forgot now. That's a problem. Um, I think Wolf makes the most sense on the Avatar, right? Bandit is good. I love it. Uh, we got the Crow. Let's bring Bang, right? And we got Crusader is not going to be ready. I'm going to take the Carrier. Put Rafe on the Carrier. We got the Oracle. It's going to be Magpie. And we're gonna take the bandit as well. It's exactly 400 tons, but we are only allowed to drop four units here anyway. Ah, yes. Problems. We have some. Is the carrier better than a Stormcrow? Can we even play this? We'll check it out. We'll check it out. 
250. We are two skull against three and a half. This is gonna be fine, right? We're gonna just headshot everybody. <laughs> oh boy. I shouldn't do that right now. I shouldn't do that at all. But I'm very willing to put myself up to a challenge. Because now, now the, the game has triggered me. I mean, now it's decided. We're gonna do this. This is not gonna work. <laughs> Let's see. Good news is... We got our melee mech. That thing is capable of dropping enemies quickly. We got the headshot mech. That guy is capable of dropping enemies quickly. We got some kind of overheat sensor scramble movement reduction now on the Stormcrow. So, we got some tools. And of course we have a wall of missiles coming from our avatars. So, that should be a little bit of value as well. Also, that guy has uh, EMP. So, we can possibly overheat with a combo of EMP from the avatar and infernos from the Stormcrow, and then later on we're gonna shoot EMP from the Crow to something else to keep it hot. I think this is the way to go. We'll see. And, and again, also these high explosive missiles, they deal good chunks of damage. I think it's 12 damage per missile. Here we go. I completely forgot fire control systems, by the way, right? Mm. Yeah. Destroy enemy units. Uh, we have a problem, guys. I cannot drop here. I cannot drop here. This is where enemies are, right in this trench. See, this is the the, the range indicator that you can see right down there. It's uh, the smallest here. There, there is also stuff here. We are screwed. We are so screwed. All right, let's do our best. I can only hope that they don't bring the best stuff in the universe. An Avatar 2. An Avatar 2. I've got eyes on hostile Jenner is doable. It's a D-Jenner, so very basic. Not too crazy stuff. Let's go fast and present them a target. Yes, 6 evasion. It also might be that the avatar is alone. It very much seems like it. Ah, wait, now there's more. Fire. Locked on rear armor. Chaff is being destroyed. Okay. But we got smoke. Fireball. Yeah, I don't care about the 20 toner. This is fine. Avatar's turn, he's moving away. Nice. What is it already? Oh, that's exactly what we needed. Let's go ahead and take the Stormcrow. No unobstructed direct line of sight. Only have the violet line of sight. But this is it, guys. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, IATMs. So good, man. Yeah, this this is what we do. Guns on target. Inferno for the possible overheat. Waiting for orders. And we will, in fact, follow up with our avatar Maximum speed. to shoot EMP afterwards for some extra heat and sensor impairment, as well as heat buildup, extra heat buildup when he fires his weapon next round. This is good. The fireball will be hard to catch, but it's, it's really fast. But nothing else. Nothing more. Man, this evasion ignore on the IATMs is so good. And we are, again, not really using any kind of good fire control system. You could... Problem? Huh. Take it I spoke too soon. That thing is the most dangerous target on the board right now. Mash truck. Oh, what is that? That's a suspicious cargo, isn't it? Wait. Huh? Yeah, Warhammer Heavy improved lasers as well as two Hyper Assault 20s. So the good news about this is that we have a headshot target. Uh-huh. Alright. No problem. This guy's under control. I don't need to shoot it now. No. No, 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 no. I'll try to shoot the firebot. No. We need a target for our melee mech. Maybe we shoot the Jenner or the Warhammer already, but only at 47%. Seems so much better. Take that, little guy. The melee mech is not gonna punch you anyway this round, is he? I don't know. 
Alright. Commander. Yeah, we are not able to get there. We we don't see him yet. That's the problem. We don't have direct line of sight. So he has not... Actually? He has something to do. He needs to go here. And expose himself. Oh god, I hate it. Take one for the team, Hunchy. Uh, yes, uh, and then smoke and chaff. The double is important. Blinding him, and then blinding him even more. This is the overheat that I was asking for. What do you want? Very nice. Yeah, out of range. Out of range for IATM. Unless I go for Jenner, which is doable. Yeah, you know what? Let's go. So the IATMs need direct line of sight, always. Still not enough for. Um, for high explosive. We cannot shoot indirectly with them. That's a problem. A little bit of a problem. But hey, I want to impair his move. Damn, missed. Ah, nothing, nothing shoots. Crap. 17. The fireball. Laser AMS, medium pulse, MML9, machine gun, LB10. I would rather take the chassis more than anything else. Or the stuff that's in here. That Warhammer 2C looks tasty. Could I make a Hyper Assault Gauss build happen in one of my mechs? The Atlas could run it. We have a Hack 40. We could put it on a side torso and we can put a Hack 20 on an arm and then we have a, ha a Hack 60. Commander. Cool. I will try to make this guy's day as bad as possible. So 45 EMP is what we got. And then some regular Artemis. Sure. Target confirmed. Mac Pulse. So he is not only blinded, his sensors are also crap now. That needs to be enough not to get hit by him, huh? What's your battle plan? Are you shooting? Are you hitting? Huh? It was turn 16. What is turn 16 anyway? Oh wait, there's some battle armor somewhere or some stealthy thing. That's what I was actually asking for. He is attacking my high evasive target with no hit chance whatsoever. Okay, now it is time. Time for some... Headshotting. Uh, we should probably go for the avatar because it's a free headshot, huh? Ah, uh, wait, wait, wait. We get unobstructed here. It's the best chance that we get. Yeah. We're gonna keep this guy under control for another turn, no problem. So let's take this guy out first. With Warlord, because why not? You know, it's a higher chance to hit the base with 11% now. Targeting for an alpha strike. Didn't quite get him. Mm. 21 is the Jenner. He's not gonna move that far now because he is uh, sensor impaired and movement impaired thanks to EMP. He will probably get smacked by the Hunchback. There it is. Ah, it's the mesh truck. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that guy. Completely forgot. Whoa. Alright, something happened here. Standing by. So, Maki not having a target anymore is... Probably still going in. Like this. Six evasion. Hacks have a minimum distance, so getting closer is actually smart. Uh, let's go Vigilance anyway. And shoot the same thing again. I like this mech. I, I like him so target. much. And I kind of dread the day where we actually replace him with an all-energy Black Knight, so we cannot use the Mortar anymore. It's gonna suck. Alright, 19. It's the fast boy, the fireball. This guy is 16, so he will start up before we can shoot him uh, in the head again. That's not great, but okay. He's actually backstabbing. This is so cool to see. AI doing AI things. Yeah, it's not that he's doing much, but it's it's the, it's the right idea. Taking that light mech, going in the back. Interesting. 
Yeah, we can take that, no problem. And next round we are in smash Careful. range. You don't want to scratch the paint. What is it already? Is this the only thing that we can do now? So if we want to engage that guy and actually shoot our high explosives at some point, Patrol. we need to move down. But this is still Inferno plus EMP. Or is it double Inferno? No, it's EMP. All right, I forgot. EMP IATM ammo has a direct shutdown chance. And it triggered. What's up, boss? No, that's pretty good. Um, what, what, to, what, what to do now? <laughs> oh god, what, what to do now? I mean, Roger. that's a no-brainer. We will ignore the life mech for the moment, which might bite me in the butt later. Acknowledge. Somehow has to deal with Mr. Avatar here. Upper leg destroyed. He's unsteady. Reporting critical huh? All right. Now that the Warhammer is overheated, I should probably go for him. With my headshotter. I'm, I'm also thinking about salvage here. I mean, I could Good easily kill this with my missiles, but... So much... Better... Actually? Wait a sec. Yeah, all right. Let's finish him first. The other guy is shut down anyway. We got the leg! So that's the thing. We got an arm. But we didn't get the head. Uthrid, Uthrid. Come on, where are your skills? Move water, anyway, let's keep going. How's it going? <sighs> Is Maki gonna do it? Yes or no? He could go for the mash truck. No, it doesn't allow us. Okay, um... Why is this a charge attack now? Wait a sec. Let's do this. So we go back. We attack here. It's always a charge attack. It's not the worst, honestly. Alright, I'll do it. it. Gonna go for knockdown and Putting some splash damage. Hmm? Yeah, there it is. Now we have no evasion anymore. I don't get it. Like, sometimes you keep your evasion, sometimes you drop it. In the duel before, we made a charge attack happen and we kept our evasion. We also went bulwark after a melee attack, thanks to our combat shield. Taking damage as well. Mm. That's so weird. But okay. This is again, unidentified. This is suspicious cargo, it has to be. This is a melee truck, it wants to blow up in your face. We gotta not let that happen. Anyway, turn 18. It is the turn of the light guy. The fireball. Probably going melee at this point. And keep in mind, these light guys have a chance to knock down as well. Aha! Uh -huh. It's fine. So... Yes. What now? This is the truck. As I was saying, I'm a bit afraid of this guy. Yo, you know what? We're gonna stay on the high ground here. Let's roll. And we could shoot the Jenner, but I think this is a better shot. And we will go for center torso. Let me think about that. Will we go for center torso? The idea being that we crit the engine, keeping everything else intact. But maybe we want to actually preserve the engine. I want that XL clan, don't I? For the upcoming builds. It's a good question. And now go high explosive, but that would shred him completely. Should be enough. Guns on target. That's it. Take Engine that. destroyed. Bastard. All right, so Red that guy forward. is off the battlefield. Now we can actually think about attacking the other guys. Um, sure. Let's move. We will go for lag and hope for good clustering. If not, Firing. screw it. That avatar can just explode as well. All right. So the big and bad hitters are out of the game. Three enemies to kill. Huh. I mean, yes. Yes, please. I will use my cooling pot. Locking in all weapon systems. That's a pretty big boom. Now it's only the truck as well as the Jenner. I got a beat on him. Cool. Turn 20. 
I hope that the Jenner is coming closer again so we can attack it with some missiles or so. IATMs, everybody! IATMs! Completely uh, uh, ignored it. But yes, come on. this is massive! 75 charge. Yeah, let's go. Should be enough. There it is. All right. Receiving you. Okay. Uh, this is only indirect, so we will just stand and shoot no matter what. Maybe LK is better here. We don't have LK. Okay. Oh, it was on our MRM carrier. Never mind. So yeah, it's Artemis then. Roger. This is just for destruction. And with a bit of luck, we can get the crow online. Yes. Yeah, that's it. Let's go. Still no high explosive. On my way, Commander. In pulse laser range, in high explosive range, in warlord range. And I will also vigilant, so I have high initiative next round and might kill him, if that's not enough. This is pretty good. Good hit there. Ready for order. Uh, yeah, Uthrid has nowhere to go, so he might as well just brace it. This game is decided not by our headshotter anymore. When did we get hit on the left arm? Was there some armor that we didn't repair? I don't know. What is it already? But I know that we will now kill him. Alpha strike engaged. Twelve damage per missile is just amazing. And I believe there's also Take some that. kind of acid ammo that is a I I ATM ammo, correct? So having that as well would be nice. Priming them with acid and then going in later with some extra damage. Anyway, it was a challenging mission, but I think we made the right decisions from the get-go. And it worked out. 774,000. Uh, basically... I wanted to say no damage, but there is some damage. There's also some problems with our engine. We should take care of that. Weapons, none. So, was this guy just a melee tank, basically? I don't know. There it is, guys. Double hack 20. Oh, boy. These are pretty good, actually. We got Battle Computer Artemis. We have zero currently. Could be a thing. Wait, no, we don't need it. We just build it on the, on the avatar. We, we just don't need it. There's Clan Endel, an advanced fire control system. Some Hyper Gauss ammo. We have five bins. We don't need more. It's fine. Oh, guys, I think this might be just the hags. There's nothing else we need. Right? I mean, avatar parts, always. These are good. Um, mm, difficult. This avatar could be another mech for my for my land. Let me check storage. We don't have any avatars, okay. Ah, so we have one Warhammer 2C10 part. Pushing towards another one would be a nice thing. It is a battle mech, however, so it's not really that valuable. Why? Um, because you have to put a lot of effort into rebuilding them. Um, you've got to put an engine in there, an engine upgrade. It's not like an omni make you just repair everything and it still has the cooling, the, the engine, the yeah, fusion shielding and stuff like that. Um, you've got to put a lot of money in it. And is an 80-tonner the thing that I want right now? It could be any 80-tonner. The Warhammer 2C only has the benefit of having the potential clan equipment when we build it. Which is good. But as a mech itself, it's... It's okay at best. Negative 10% weapon heat generated is quite good. It has an integrated searchlight, which is okay as a quirk. Huh. Is it better than two Hyper Assault 20? Uh, yes, it is. It is. Totally is. Um, because I cannot run more than uh, the Hyper 40 and the 20 in any mech that I own right now anyway. So taking this 20 will be a nice supplement, I think. Maybe we get the other one as well. Let's go. We didn't. However, we got some standard fire control system for the value and yes, basic cockpits. Ah, oh, the best. The absolute best. Yeah, easy clicks there. All right, we're gonna go home. 
with another part of a Warhammer and a Hyper Assault, as well as 800,000 C-Bills, roughly. So, that was totally a worth it. 35 minutes into the video, I think there's still room for a quick mission, huh? Let's do it. It's gonna be the best and the quickest mission in the game, in the world, in the series. Oh boy. So, the good news is, we don't have to worry about money for the moment. We have enough for the financial report, which is all I'm asking for right now. The other thing is repairing our MX. Who do we prioritize? Definitely the Archer. The Mjolnir... I wasn't happy with the Mjolnir to begin with. I just don't believe in it. It is not the greatest mech in the universe. I want to leave it at the bottom. At the very bottom, even. Even below the Atlas. Do we want to put the Atlas all the way to the front? To always repair on it, and then two of my mechs that are falling behind then. Like, falling in line. It would take us... Uh, 11 days. It would take us 11 days to be battle ready again. That's fine. Work on it. Yeah, something like that. It's 11, right? If I do it like this. Uh, the Black Knight can wait. The Hunchback is still okay, as it is. Alright. God, we don't have any Argo upgrade going right now, and we need that um, tonnage, tonnage upgrade as well. If we want to bring the, back, the big bad boys. It's not that... It's not that bad. Alright, I'm taking it. That's cool. Yeah, it's fine. So... I'm gonna click that button now, and I hope that we get a good set of missions in the next month. We still have a mill. It's okay. It's fine. And... Storm... Oh, wait, the crow. Yeah, the crow will be ready. Cool. So, again, we gotta wait 11 days. Wait, before we do it. Sorry, lots of back and forth in my brain right now. We gotta check this out. Maybe we wanna skip planet. Maybe we wanna go somewhere else. That's a solo duel. That's attack and defend. Assassination will be too much. It's another one of those. There's also another one of those. This is a good planet still. Yes, we will do this. The big question is, can our hunchback do the four skull solo duel? I don't think so. Who else could? The Warhammer? The hot boy? Nah. No way. We gotta figure it out. I think I wanna play the duel. Uh, okay. Engine repair is complete. What about my crow? Why does it take so long? Oh, okay. So yeah, again, the Atlas needs to, at some point, needs to be repaired. Stop here. So, who is it going to be? Do we even play that duel yet? We might want to just play the battle. Yeah. This is gonna be fine. Again, this is money and salvage, and good salvage. There we go. So, get the wolf archer back. God, who was on that freaking archer? Was it you? I think it was somebody else. Was it King Wolf? You were on the Warhammer, alright. So that's a thing that you can go back to. Uh, I mean, might, might have been Eric. Cool. The Avatar, being piloted by... Apex, which makes, like, no sense. But okay. And then we're gonna bring... the carrier and the oracle. Cool. So, wildfire on the oracle. Rafer on the mortar carrier. And we have another death trap. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, these guys will always go for these uh, vehicles. We should probably give wildfire more piloting from the get-go. Getting more mobility means more evasion, means more survivability. And it's kind of nice that piloting translates to direct movement on tanks now, and VTOLs. It's so cool, I like that. A lot. Makes a lot of sense. Giving it some reason to pick something there. See, because piloting... Piloting was usually a thing that... Was... I believe the most value that you got out of piloting... 
was the uh, reduction of fail chance on equipment. That was the biggest thing. But now the vehicles also benefit from it by just giving it, I think, 5 meters? Like, flat meters per piloting point that you get. Let's go. A high tonnage Liran lands will shortly make planet fall. Mm-hmm. High tonnage, you say? Give it to me, baby. Maybe we can get more Warhammer parts here. Uh, it's unlikely, I think. Maybe some King Crabs? Maybe some more Atlas parts? It's the Lurens. Let's go. This is the vanguard of a larger force of conventional tanks and infantry uh, scouting the region. Okay, so we will fight Max most likely. Let's take a look. Command interface initiated. In the jungle, the mighty jungle. Okay, let's get some intel. We can drop anywhere we want. Except here. And except here. So we have two enemy lances. I'll drop in... I will drop far away. Because I want the first round to be uh, without sensors and I want to skip this round completely, entirely. Couldn't. Problem is they have spawn protection, I don't. And uh, they also bring an Ifrit and an Nidhogg. Oh my god. Commander. Ermagerd! Let's go, let's go, let's go fast and then try to take these guys out as much as possible. Also running through a spore field is absolutely clutch. I love it. Winston! Oh crap! Advanced AMS, light ERP, clan flamers, double MML10 risk. That's a problem. Not too big of a problem. It's still a problem, but not the biggest. There are other Nidhogs that could ruin our days more. So this is the overheating Ifrit. Shoot. Sojourner, LRM20 clan, large heavy clan, micropulse clan. That's pretty good, man. I have no time to mess around with fast gum or anything. We need to smoke them. Literally. What do you want? I hate it. Oh, I hate it so much. I want to use my crow now, but I think I can't. It is not possible. 23% hit chance. Confirmed. This is the biggest problem when dropping a hot directly. I have no good target to initiate on. Nidhogg is moving, that's good. Ah, and he didn't do anything. So we now have a target. We want to go EMP against his back. No, I want to wait another turn. We will probably eat a bit of damage, but that's fine. That's good, that's amazing. But he just shot his MRMs, not the rockets. So I think the first target is honestly the Ifrit Strike. Yes. The Ifrit Strike Craft. So we will sprint into the spore field for extra defense. Go uh, Warlord right away. God, this is this is so bad. This is so bad. Uh, I need to go Inferno here. Alpha strike. These are my least interesting missiles. All of them will be eaten up. Yeah, yeah, I know. But I want to jam his Damn, miss. AMS. Whenever I shoot at it, there's always a jam chance. Give me a sec. I need to reserve even further. Yeah, no, no, wait. Rafa. Rafa is the guy to do some things here. Into cover no with a mortar carrier. 100%. But hey, this guy has sensor lock. I've got a sensor lock. It's negative one evasion. Air burst. It's kind of helpful. Wait, we got standard acid and air burst. Oh, I thought we got something like mines on this dude, but we don't. Um, sure? This is a start, but not enough. Move for three. Perfect. Uh, I will I will always lose Warlord right away. Let's get that cooldown ticking. And if I can shoot missiles, I will shoot missiles. Yet again, every activation is a chance to jam the AMS. Cool. 
There it is. Large laser. Did not connect. We are kind of safe here. Just I think. a scratch, Commander. The missiles did also not connect. Smoke screen is helping. Yeah. What cool. can I do you for? We got heavy peeps. Probably want to get out of the forest. As always, Warlord when we have it. I bet you're gonna like it. We got him down! Alright, so I one flyer off the board. Down. There's another one though. Ready to rock. Alright, I'm pretty happy with that. Um let us stay on the high ground. I got you. Done. Yes, Commander. And then we got some missiles ourselves, huh? This is fine ish. Sprint for three or sprint for two? For two and direct line of sight. Oh, wait, what? I'll take that shot. The Nidhogg is running advanced AMS, right? So it can destroy my missiles. But these EMPs might be very helpful. Keeping that guy silent for a turn. Let's go. Engaging target. Mag pulse, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, Commander. Oh, yeah. Oracle. Move around, stay in low ground. Uh, this is Acid or Flares or Guided or Inferno. I think I'm gonna go with Inferno here. Try to get some extra heat on the Sojourner. Also, maybe igniting the forest around him. Now what? The Winston. This guy is scary. Also has a lot of armor. It's uh, 1100, so 286 and 225. That's front and side. And then MML is like crazy. These are scary, but they also jam. That's good. Wonder what's there? What's hiding in the background? I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. We see a Chaparral artillery tank. All right, they also got an arrow. Yeah, there's some good stuff on the board. We only are able to pick two items, but still, I believe the mission is absolutely worth it. Yes. Okay, guys, now we have accuracy. Let's roll. Hey, Winston. Catch. We got some high explosives. We actually go with Infernos here. We will go with Infernos. I could also UAV ping this guy. What's my range on this? Not enough. Okay, never mind. Uh, yeah, this is the only target, so let's try. No missiles will fire if they don't get the lock on. So, that's all right. Damn. Missed. Good to go. Punch back. Yes, yes, yes. I will not charge any further because the Nitok might counterattack us with high explosive bombs and they don't care about accuracy. They are high explosive, which means big splash. We would take damage anyway. So we will stay here and let them come yes, to us. Okay, the MRMs. The hit chance is pretty bad on this guy. He was running through a spore field, yeah, it's a plus four difficulty to hit. And we are not in optimal range, so I guess we will reserve this and maybe go for the Nidhogg if it exposes itself somehow to our firepower. Let's see. What I don't like is that the arrow carrier is all the way in the back. It has unlimited range, basically, and we don't, so it will drop some arrows on top of our heads. While we are moving slowly to the front line, the only thing that we have is... Two AMS Mark IIs that are helping us out. Aye, aye. Cool. Doable. I think what I need, though, is more EMP here. Affirmative. Let's go get direct line of sight, and we will shoot Artemis, correct? Yeah. So we got lots of mech pulls on him. We almost got him on Seti. Not quite, Have though. Yes, boss. But we can manage now. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Oh yeah, you got it. So we have a chance to make him on Seti here. This is no smoke. This is just Inferno. I think I will keep my chaff because I don't believe I need it in this scenario. Bam, bam. The lasers hit. He's also on Seti now. For Whatever that means to us. 38, 35. We want to probably stay in motion. Okay. 
That's now 44. Oh yes, I just realized I wanted to replace one heavy PPCs with a client ER PPC. Didn't do it yet. Um, let's go. That's a full miss. Nothing hit. What the? Yeah. Standing by. Yeah, that's a problem. 35. Double time. Let's go. I actually want to get that defense. That spore cloud defense. Is jammed, okay. Firing. So cool that plasma deals more damage or heat deals more damage to vehicles. You, How do we play this? I have no idea. Okay, we move slightly. Uh -huh. Question is, are we going for a sojourner? Do we attack the Mjolnir? Uh, the Mjolnir? The Nidhogg? Nidhogg, Mjolnir, all the same, right? Comes from the same mythology. Um, I don't know. We got like, what, 16 air bursts left? This might just be... Um, we don't even have Infernos. Oh, that's a shame, man. That's such a shame. Let's melt him. Commencing alpha strike. It's acid, baby. We got a headshot. Nice. All right. Skipper. Yeah. Roger, Skipper. Kicking it. Gonna stay on one target. Ten four. And take him down. Or almost down. So 120 clan sadly destroyed. But maybe we can actually snatch the engine here later. It is a full clan max, so. Standing by. It has clan stuff. With a bit of luck, we are able to get some criticals here. It's airburst to the center. Roger. Let's see. Yeah, we got one crit on the core. It's an Omni as well. Oh, all right. That's nice. But wait, if we... We don't really want to destroy the engine, right? Because we want to pick the engine. So, yeah. Brain fart. Supercharger destroyed. Pilot incapacitated. For some reason, we got him now. I'll take it. Arrow. That was the arrow for the longest time. Good. I think we are making some good progress. I really wonder um, how many enemies will be the reinforcements. It might be just the Chaparral if we're getting lucky. But I think there was also another thing that shot. So two enemies minimum. Winston now. We are still protected by AMS, but the pulse lasers might actually kick in. Or light, light PPC? I think it was a light PPC or something. Yeah, something like that. Got a beat on him. Okay. So my melee mech has nothing against the Nidhogg. Absolutely nothing. We're gonna probably wait to do anything here. Ready to get it off. Plasma cannon. Forty-four percent. I will take that shot and then move afterwards. Yes, I can. Let's fire it up with LRMs as well. Affirmative. Great hits. I love it. You're not running an advanced aim as you're running flares. I just realized. Cool. And after that, we are getting the hell out of the spore field because if we are getting hit now, we take 40% extra damage if we stay in there. Yes. If we're getting out, no problem. This is it. Certainly it. In motion, Commander. All right. Oh, the high explosives are lower hit chance. Let's go Inferno. Oh God. Still destroying. Damn. So it's missed. not only two flares because Away flares wouldn't be strong enough to destroy all of them, right? They also have a Padilla. Oh. And a hyper velocity auto cannon two carrier in the back. These guys are actually quite scary. Commander. So hashtag a quick mission, huh? Let's go, guys. Let's go. On my way. We're gonna try to take him somehow. Confirmed. He is the next dangerous target. And he is down! Beautiful. Great. Eliminated. Cool, cool, cool. What are your orders, Skipper? Side attack when possible. Double time, let's go! Ah, no good hit chance at all. 
We got controlled burst, which is good for jam chance reduction, which we should probably use every time when we're shooting those heavy MRMs with have, which have a jam chance. Uh, let's see what we can do. Ah, this guy was running the AMS. I see. Yeah, AMS here, light ER PPC, and then the flamers as well as all the other things that we got there. Next. 29%. Fingers crossed. Got two hits in. Nice. Cake. Right. Got it. Max Here comes the no Mortar Carrier. So... The most reasonable thing to fire here is probably standard ammo. Just for some splashy splash damage. Yeah, but we're getting there. Slowly but surely. Yo, guys, I have the feeling we have to do this. Uh-huh. There are flames on the way, but we will end up in cover. I want to do this here specifically. Um. Hold up. Do we drop fast cam or do we drop smoke? I was thinking about smoke and keep the push up, but we will not end up... Close enough, because our supercharger will fail soon, our hot seat will fail soon, it will slow us down for two turns. These guys will push out of this then. We can drop fast cam once, I think. Dealing some damage now, and then they will push towards me, and then I'll be ready to counterattack them. Commander? I hope. Let's also right. bring our oracle to the front. And then we're gonna drop there and smoke. Fire. Not really afraid of the Winston anymore. It's probably not going to do Negative so damage. much. Repeat. It will probably hit Negative us, you know, damage. a little bit. But we also got two AMSs still online, and we got the... The range that helps us against the Flamers. And the short-range missiles that he might run. Here comes the artillery now. Yeah, this is some inevitability that I don't like. Taking damage. They will pepper us with so many shells. The crow is not the most resilient target. Mm hmm. Internal damage. Instant crit! Okay. These were tandem SRMs, I believe. So he might already be in range. Manticore. I really hope that our AMS will hold up for a little longer because the arrow, man, the arrow. Let's do this. Spore cloud is fine here. I'll do it. Got it. Hello, I'm here. Next round, you will suffer. Question: More fast cam here on the high ground to take the chopper roll down, or more? More stuff here against a hyper velocity. High velocity. I will not go there. I think this is the place where I drop my mines. And we also got sensor scramble on this guy yes. now, which is nice. Got a chance against the Winston now. I will go backwards because I want to outrun the <laughs> artillery somehow. I know a high explosive would be nice here. Maybe it's still... No, it is not nice. We gotta go with highest hit chance. Absolutely highest hit chance. Oh, I can shoot indirect. Oh, look at this. In that case, I will go high explosive. Yes, yes, yes. You can swap those. Oh, yeah. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh... Yep, here we go. I will check the chance on the guys in the back. Since I have my hotboy that is able to fell the enemy. Indirect fire when we can against the targets in the back. Yes, absolutely. Because these guys can only direct fire anyway. And they only have that target in front of them. Here we go. 
It's a no-brainer. So there we go. I need a new target. You need a new target. I know. Um. Sure. I think we should split up a little. But still stay somewhat close so that the AMSs will work together against the arrow. This is rough as hell. Yeah, we need to huddle. I hear you. Pedal to the metal. What can we do here with the mortar carrier? As it seems fine. All weapons are go. Yeah, I was missing one mortar, by the way. We didn't have enough ammo. AC2 magazines are cool. Let's keep moving. This is again flare and smoke. Affirmative. That's a great carpet. There's lots of deviation here. We had two projectiles and both deviated a bit. So that the carpet is a bit bigger. Now it's getting interesting. Oh, you didn't shoot. That's perfect. That's also very good. Great, great, great. I have the feeling that I need something that the mortar carrier is doing right now, but on a mech. Does the Warhammer have a ballistic? I don't think so. Oh, that was close! Arrow almost touched the ground. Almost. Man, we gotta take that guy down as quickly as possible now. I think it's gonna be my high priority, but then there's also that guy, which is very killable. It's a problem. The direct fire doesn't do anything. Only our artillery. And we are not fast enough. Copy that, Commander. Okay. Yes. I think we have to actually push Commander. through the water. Awaiting orders. LRMs. Uh... All right. So what is the chance to hit anything here? I don't really care about the Manticore. I care about the Padilla, honestly. Let's go for that. There it is. Yeah. Ooh, with a bit of luck, we're gonna take him down this round. That's great. How's it going? <sighs> so 10% fail chance. That's what you got here. I think we don't need the, su the supercharger currently. Let's do it. Is it fast come here? Is it inferno? Is it smoke? I think it might be smoke. Yeah. Let's go with smoke and some lasers as well as the chaff against the chaparral. I was hoping that our lasers would hit, but nothing. This guy might move and we might get a direct line of sight at some point, so there's a chance. What can I do for you? We still got the mortar. Standard ammo against the Padilla. Tiny damage numbers. No, nothing really hit. Also, does standard ammo destroy the mines? I think only guided doesn't, right? Yes, command. Ah, that might be a thing. I will actually reserve this. Because, honestly, there's a chance that these guys might come out of their hidey hole and do some things. Ten four. And again, splitting up is key. Uh, smoke and flare makes no sense here. As it might be. Fire in. Doesn't really matter. Uh, we got red numbers on the Padilla Good now. Uh, and yeah, maybe some of them are showing up. I have no idea. But we'll figure it out. Good news is the Hunchback is now in melee range. Command. Still nothing. Reserve. This guy needs to come here, and we might have a chance to hit him. Adila? No mines anymore. That's what I thought. Alright. He didn't shoot the artillery, though, because the hunchback is too close. That's great, guys. This might be it. This might be how we uh, push them. Come on, you got medium lasers and an SRM. You want to use them, correct? 
Nope. Oh, okay. It's getting hot. Receiving you. Yeah, we can get line of sight, but we need to get closer. That's it. In that case, a clan ER PPC would be really nice. So, last guy is the, what, the uh, HVAC carrier? Uh, the Manticore. Got it. By the way, quick sell LRM20. A very light item, but you can see the spread. It's insane. Ready to rock. Out of range. We keep pushing. Stand for. Next. Standing by. LRMs. We keep pushing. Maybe we shoot from here now. 33. 36. Yeah, that's it. Fire support. We got one tank. That's great. Because now our hunchback Anything on the front down. line can concentrate on somebody else. Waiting for orders. And I already have an idea. It's gonna be the Chaparral. 50% chance. We can upgrade that a little bit with Berserker. But it's still pretty bad. And wherever we go, we can only kick our charge? We can only kick or charge. That's the Manticore even. Wait a sec. I wanted this guy. Yeah, way better. Way better. Uh, still drop Mortar. Let's get some Infernos in here. Alright. Fingers crossed, guys. Targeting for physical attack. It worked. Oh boy. That is a huge, huge progress. So I drop Infernos because fire hits vehicles. Destroyed. I am out of SRMs. We can shoot our MRM. If that's what we have, then that's what we have. Let's go. Understood. Moving and honestly, back. the carrier is the next big target. Although, better hit chance, we're gonna go with that. It's not much anyway. What do you want? On my way, Commander. Okay, we got EMP. 21, 16, 26, 21. Guns on target. It's not much. I'm receiving you. Affirmative. Right. Got some flares and some acid on here. Acknowledged. There we go. Waiting we see him you. better. A little bit better now. We need to get out of the fire. Moving to position. Alright. 14. 14 everywhere, but we have a chance to destroy there. It's not great, but it's the best we have. And I know Hanji is getting some collateral, but honestly, I don't really care here. This is fine. Okay, Uthrid has nothing. I'm gonna wait. Maybe he gets a shot on the Manticore if he maneuvers himself a little bit weird. Let's see. He's getting up. No. But honestly, at the very least, they are going for the Mortar Carrier, which is a good target. They are not really dealing damage there. Orders. Done. Next. Auto Cannon Carrier. Auto Cannon 2s have a minimum range, so the closer you get, the less likely is it that you're getting hit. That's fine. Standing by. Ah! No line of sight. What are your orders, Skipper? That's a problem. Alright, let's move. I think the game is gonna be decided by our indirect fire, so I will wait here and see if we can shoot some more lerms. What's that? That's pretty good. That's pretty better. I'm gonna go with pretty better. Target confirmed. This is good. Alright. King Wolf. Copy that. Some extra MMLs. Locked on. Not enough. Yes. Bang! You can do it, buddy. Guns I want to get the Manticore out because I think it's the more dangerous target. By the way, I didn't check ammo count. It's my bane. Damn, my absolute rough. bane. Good to go. Uh, all right. Let's wait. Standing by. We got mortars. Let's fire them before my guy is going in. Oh, 
Lots of damage. Yeah, this is not working. I don't think we're gonna kill both of them this round. All right. Ah, we see red numbers though. Yeah, all right. I'll just wait here. I'm gonna give you a turn. Maybe you come in again. Maybe I can punch you in. Then. Almost dead. He's running. Okay. What's up, Commander? Uh, yes, Uthrid. <laughs> Whatever. The bane of a um, uh, direct firing mech. Cover. They really want to go for my carrier. They're so predictable. This is crazy. They completely ignore the threat in their backs. Receiving you. All right. That means I can move fast again. Still calculating. It's fine if I move. On my way. Rear armor, it Gonna shoot what we can shoot. Mech, and we got him down. Very nice. Commander. Uh, so, can we finally get out of this mission? Target locked. We can. Okay. So the last few shots of Artemis actually made it happen. Oh my god. Let's get out of here. Hashtag quick mission. It actually came through. Uh, what would we pick here? I don't know. Maybe some clan stuff. Maybe even the Nidhogg or the Ifrit parts. Although I think they are not the best variants of both. Um, let's check it out. Let's check it out. It's 529,000. Not much damage. That's good. Chaparral. We have no parts of a Chaparral and there are four available. Crazy. Uh, the carrier is not interesting. The Ifrit. We got three parts of this Ifrit here. Inferno bombs and mine bombs. We are running a PPC carrier. And we have a PPC Mjölnir. Like the carrier being our Warhammer. Uh, I do like the AMS Mark II. I think mines are not really a game plan anymore. I don't see it. The bomb, the, the Inferno bombs are fine. But after that, the Ifrit drops back to two SRM4 and two SRM6, which is actually quite fine. And that AMS, the additional AMS is quite helpful on the uh, on the board. Let's talk about Nidhogg. We got three parts here. Snub nose PPC, rocket packs, high explosive bombs. Also, not the greatest Nidhogg in the world. This one here is way better. Running two AMS Mark II, heavy rock 5 risk, which will jam all the time. And then some bombs as well. Hmm, difficult. Maybe I'm taking neither. Maybe I'm not going this path. Sojourner? No. Winston? No. Uh, actually, how much is a Winston? If I wanted to pick money, I would pick two Winston parts and just sell them. There's good stuff in them, huh? There is good stuff in them. Alright. There's more AMS Mark II. I don't need more, though. Heavy PPC Quick Cell. I don't care about it. Heavy Laser Clan. It's not an improved one. I don't think I'm gonna run this. Long Tom Cannon. Long Tom Cannon. Would I run a Long Tom Cannon? It has inferior range to the artillery. It's a 20 toner. It's 150 damage. It's not bad. 2 MML 15 risk. I think we are beyond them. They are really good early to mid game, but I think we are beyond them. What we need now is long range stuff. Ooh, actuator enhancement. They are very rare weapons. Or weapons, items. They give you negative recoil. 2 accuracy. And they are Omni. Uh, Omni things. You can slap them on, on an Omni mech and all of a sudden you just get crazy accuracy. I like that. A lot. Multitrack? Not needed. Not now. Engine XL! Exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Is that a quick sell item? Need to contain the power of a star? Look no further. We at Quicksell have unlocked the second uh, secrets of Star League Extra Light Engine Shielding, reducing the weight your engine core will need at unbeatable prices. 
I don't see it. Nope. <laughs> Get away here. Go away. This is a good fire control system. It's a clan double heatsink kit, but we have one, so I wouldn't probably pick one. Warfare Sweet Mark II. The pinnacle of warfare. Mm. Five ton, five slots, though. Um, but it gives you uh, an ECM shield of three. Reduces enemy shield. This is cool. The enemy shield by two within 180 meters. Um, grants the carrier an ECM shield of two. Reduces enemy jamming. Increases sight and sensor distance by 17. Counter stealth by two. Improves uh, info readout. Detects mines. It, is, it has everything. Everything in one item. C3 system active probe. It's it's crazy. It's really good. But it's also very heavy. How much long-term ammo do we have? Zero. I was actually thinking about taking the cannon. And, um... Hmm. Honestly, I don't know what to pick. There are some very great items here. I'm eyeballing the warfare suite. In order to get the enemy shield reduction, you need to get to 180 meters. I only know one single guy who's getting that close. And this guy, this warfare suite would be very helpful, honestly. Put it on the Black Knight? That's coming up as a melee mech? I can see that guy running in and uh, reduce the enemy's ECM by quite a lot. Your own ECM shield wouldn't be that great though. Gotta rely on evasion mostly. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good thing. It's kind of like a... It's a trade-off. It's a big, big trade-off. Because, you know, Guardian ECM. Look at Guardian. Um, it says... Da, 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 protects the... Oh, the carrier with an ECM shield of one only? Oh, I thought it would be better. Okay, never mind. Hmm, maybe I'll take it then. The other thing that we could take here, by the way, would be... Uh, again, MMLs are fine, but not great. Although it's not improved, we could take it. And then, I guess the Nidhogg or an Ifrit or something like that. And they are not the greatest... I do not take them. I will take the Warfare Suite. This would be an actual quite good item for a melee mech that we are about to build. So, Actuate Enhancement, Warfare Suite, done. We get a Nidhogg anyway. Alright, I'll take it, thank you. Streak, Quick Cell, get out of here. Light Engine, get out of here. We get a pretty good fire control system and reactive plating as well as chaff. Alright, so, this is not a good outcome in terms of value, but I like the, the small pieces that we picked here. Or something that gives us direction. Guys, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.